Good morning. Well, we're in the last chapter now of the book of Jeremiah, chapter 52. We're looking at verses 1 to 3, and our question is, why was God angry with Zedekiah? Zedekiah was 21 years old when he became king, and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. He also did evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that Jehoiakim had done. For because of the anger of the Lord, this happened in Jerusalem and Judah, till he finally cast them out from his presence. Then Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. Now we're going to finish the book of Jeremiah here in just about a week. And you might have noticed that at the end of the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 64, it says, Thus far are the words of Jeremiah. And most of Jeremiah 52 is identical to 2 Kings chapters 24 and 27. So we think this chapter was added at the end. It's very clear differentiating between the part that came before this that was written by Jeremiah and this part, which seems to have been written by somebody else. This was probably added just to help us see the ultimate fulfillment of these prophecies. So again, all inspired and clear which part was written by who. And we, this part is probably not Jeremiah. It refers to events that happened substantially after Jeremiah, some of the events. Well, let's look at it, though. So there's kind of a summary here of a lot of things we've already looked at. And there's actually a very good summary over here from the, uh, the SDA Bible Commentary. And I'm just going to read a portion of a paragraph here because I haven't done really much of that, but I want to look at that summary with you. Jeremiah 52. So here's the part that I thought was a, a good summary. He was placed upon the throne not by legal succession, but by a dominant foreign power that held the rightful king with many of the national leaders in exile. He was surrounded by nations eager to revolt against Babylon and likewise eager for his adherence to their cause. His counsels were torn by strife between the pro-Babylonian party encouraged by Jeremiah and a popular nationalism backed by false prophets. He was continually intrigued by the phantom hope that Egypt might rescue his country from Babylonian oppression. So that's talking about, again, Zedekiah's sad reign. He was just 20, 21 when he began, but he was always being pulled to and fro by the rich people, by the false prophets, by his own hopes and desires. And, uh, and of course, God tried again and again to minister to him through Jeremiah, his servant, Jeremiah the prophet. But Zedekiah had a lot of trouble uh, coming in that direction. Now, someone might say here that God was forcing Zedekiah to be angry, to be a rebel. But that's certainly not the case because again and again and again, God sends his prophet, Jeremiah, we've seen it these past many months, sends Jeremiah to try to persuade Zedekiah to go in a different direction. If God is forcing Zedekiah into all this stuff, why is he sending another party to get him to go in another direction? No, no, God was letting Zedekiah exercise his free choice. So God's anger comes not because Zedekiah is forced to do the wrong thing, but because Zedekiah consistently chose to follow the rich people, the false prophets, the, the imaginations of his own heart, instead of to submit to God and, and do the harder thing, which would have been to follow Jeremiah's counsel and give some deference and tribute to the king of Babylon. So remember, the bigger picture, God was dealing with apostasy in the kingdom of Judah. And Zedekiah was just kind of another example of that sad apostasy, sadly. But he could have turned and gone differently. We have free choice, and we need to make sure we're turning to God's side. We're still alive. We still have opportunity to seek him. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, there are pivotal moments in history. And Jeremiah lived, Zedekiah lived at a, a very striking moment in history. We today appear to be living at a very pivotal moment in history, Lord, right near the very absolute end of what you're working with here in the battle between good and evil. Help us to be right, Lord. Help us to be responsive to you in these crazy times. Help us in our moment of history to make the right decision and not the wrong one as Zedekiah did. Thank you for hearing our request, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So God was angry because Zedekiah chose not to lead the nation to more faithfulness, but instead he led it deeper into apostasy. Oh, may God give us godly leaders in these crazy hours. God be with you today.